गुड मॉर्निंग गर्ल्स होप एवरी वन इज़ वेल एंड सेफ एट होम गर्ल्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक थर्ड जून प्लान क्लियर ओपन योर बुक्स ऑन पेज सिक्सटी वन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ थर्ड जून प्लान टमोरो इन शाला वी विल डिस्कस इट्स मेन पॉइंट्स ब्रिटिश प्राइम मिनिस्टर लॉर्ड एटले हैड प्रोमिस टू इस्टेब्लिश रिस्पॉन्सिबल गवर्नमेंट्स बाय द एंड ऑफ जून नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन therefore he appointed lord mount betton in place of lord wavell as the last viceroy of india with the assignment of peaceful transferring of power to the united india now british prime minister lord atlee uh, basically he promised to establish a responsible government by the end of uh, june 1947 because in the last topic in the london conference you we have talked about the failure of the london conference because they wanted to have the clear plan about the partition they wanted to have the a uh, clear plan about the transferring of powers and as it was not given to them so that's why they refused to attend the meeting therefore he appointed lord mountbatten in place of lord wavell for which purpose as the last viceroy of india so with which assignment of peaceful transferring of powers to the united india in india lord mountbatten started negotiations with the leadership of congress and muslim league and tried to keep india united so uh, lord mountbatten uh, who was appointed by the british prime minister lord atlee he started the negotiation he started talking with the leadership of both congress and muslim league and he tried to keep india united which was in the favor of the congress and not in the favor of the muslim league when he failed he chalked out a plan for the transfer of power and the division of the country it was decided that none of the indian parties would view it before the plan was finalized so the plan was made and the transfer of uh, uh, powers it was chalked out the division of the country it was chalked out but what was the decision that none of the indian parties means neither congress nor muslim league nor any other party would view it would see it before it the plan will be finalized the plan was finalized in the governors conference in april 1947 and then sent to britain in may for final approval clear however before the announcement nehru had a look at the plan and rejected it now you could look into the uh, you can say the minds of the hindus they had a fear that what will happen if there will be division of uh, india when if there will be a partition of india so they made some uh, somehow the other uh, they uh, made the plan to read it to go through it to find it before its decision so nehru did it then what happened uh, he rejected it and mount betton then asked his personal staff vp manan a hindu to present a new plan mount betton himself went to england with new plan and got approval of the cabinet which was lasted for only 5 minutes only in 5 minutes this 3rd june plan it was finalized on his return he announced the plan on 3rd june 1947 so when he returned he announced the plan and then uh, uh, these are the points which were discussed in uh, that conference clear now this is the background of 3rd june plan you just have to understand it and uh, the thing which you have to write in your copy is the main points which we will discuss inshallah in the next lesson thank you girls take care allah hafiz